Hello students. So in today's lecture, we are going to solve out few numericals which are based on NCRT and the chapter is work energy and power. So before starting this lecture, I want to wish you a very happy new year. May this new year start with a good beginning and you just create a good height of success in your life. So students, let us begin. So work energy and power, the numericals which we are going to solve. As you can see on the board, one numerical is being written and we are going to solve it. So let's just watch it out. A boy pulls a toy with a force of 50 Newton. In physics, when solving out the numericals, it's very important to draw the diagram and to imagine it. So let's plot the diagram. A boy pulls a toy. Okay. Suppose the toy is a toy car. And a boy pulls a toy with a force of 50 Newton through a string. So, suppose this is how the string is being attached. And what is the angle? By an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal. So, as you can see, this is the horizontal. With horizontal, this is making an angle 30 degree. The thread is or the string is making an angle 30 degree. What is the amount of force the boy has applied? That is 50 Newton. Okay, very fine. So as to move the toy by a distance of 1 meter horizontally. So displacement is also given to us. That is 1 meter. Force is given to us. How much is the force applied? 50 meter. What is the displacement as 1 meter is the displacement of the toy. So S is 1 meter. Very fine. Now what is the angle? Angle is given to us theta. That is 30 degree. Oh. So these are the parameters which are given to us. So students as we have studied this in our regular classes, in the online classes, that the work done formula is W is equal to Fs cos theta. So this is the formula where F is the force, S is the displacement, and theta is the angle between the force and the horizontal line. So this is the force applied. And this is the line of force and this is the horizontal and the angle is 30 degrees. Very fine. So apply this formula. Force is given in correct unit, Newton. Displacement is given in correct unit, meter. And theta is given 30 degrees. So this you have to check out before applying the values that the parameters are given in the correct unit or not. Otherwise you are going to solve it wrong. So W is equal to F is cos theta. So let's substitute the values. 50 S 1 cos theta that is cos 30. So this will turn out to be 50 into 1 into what is the value of cos 30? That is root 3 upon 2. Now let's solve this. 25 times. So 25 into root 3. Or if you want to solve it further then you can apply the value of root 3. You can substitute the value of root 3. And this you have to learn. The value of root 3 is 1.73. If we take in uh, three decimal places, then we can take 1.732 as well. But uh, let's take it 1.73 only. So 1.73 into 25. So this is going to be 43.35. And what is the unit of work done? Force is in meter, displacement, force is in newton, displacement in meter, so work done will be in joule. So the unit of work is joule, this you have to remember, and this is going to be the answer. Hope you understood it. Yes, students, so as you can see, the second question we are going to solve. A car is moving with a velocity of 54 km per hour. What is the kinetic energy of a boy of mass 40 kg sitting in the car? So we have to calculate the kinetic energy. Students, we have learned the formula of kinetic energy in the online classes. The kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the body due to its motion. So we have studied the formula. Ke is equal to half mv square. We have done the derivation of this. So must be you have learned it. So let's figure it out. The options which are given to us. So, a car is moving with a velocity of 54 km per hour. 
So what is the velocity of car? Velocity of car V 54. As you all know, in physics, whenever they apply the formula, the velocity is used in meter per second, never in kilometer per hour. So let's convert this into meter per second. That's a very important step. Most of the students they forget to convert from the kilometer per hour to the meter per second. In fact, you have done this mistake in the hourly exams as well. So avoid this mistake and convert kilometer per hour into meter per second. That's very essential step. So 54 into this will turn out to be 5.8. 18 3s are 54, 3 5s are 15. So 15 meter per second. This is the velocity. What is the mass given to us? Mass of the car is 40. We have to calculate the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy Ke is equal to half mv square. This is the formula. We have done the formula. So let's substitute the values. Half. What is the mass of the car? What is given to us? 40 feet. Fine. What is the velocity in meter per second? That is 15. So into 15 is 5. 2, 29 cancel out. So 20 into 15, 15 is 225. So 25, uh, 225 choose up. This will turn out to be 450, but one more zero. So 4500. What is the unit? The unit of energy, the unit of work done is equal and that is joule. So 4500 joule is going to be the kinetic energy of the car. Hope you understood. So students, now we are here with another problem of physics. So suppose a hammer of mass 1 kg falls freely on a wooden block. Let's figure it out. We have a hammer and which is falling from a height of 1 meter. Suppose a hammer of mass 1 kg. So this is, the hammer is supposed to be here. Hammer is at a height of 1 meter. Fine. So hammer at a height of 1 meter. And from a height of 1 meter it is falling on a wooden surface. So it is falling on a wooden surface here. So when it strikes to the wooden surface. We have to tell that how much kinetic energy it will have. So when the hammer is there on 1 meter height, so what should be its velocity? As it is stable there, so its velocity would be 0. So initial velocity, if we see initial velocity of hammer, initial velocity u is 0, fine, 0 meter per second. Now final velocity, when it strikes, we don't know. We have to calculate it actually. Now what is the displacement? When hammer will strike here. So displacement will be equal to 1 meter. Obviously 1 meter it would cover out. So displacement S is equal to 1 meter. Very fine. Now one more thing. What is the acceleration? Obviously when the hammer is thrown vertically then there is only one acceleration present in it. And that acceleration is acceleration due to gravity. So acceleration and that is acceleration due to gravity and suppose we are taking it 9.8 is the value we have to take in positive obviously it is just calling it on towards the center of the earth so take it positive 9.8 meter per second square. Now students let's solve this. So what is the final velocity square if we apply third equation because third equation of motion is the most suitable option here as we have to calculate P, U, S and A are here. So third equation is the suitable one. All the parameters are given accordingly so we can substitute. So V square is equal to initial velocity we don't know plus 2 A S. So 2 into acceleration suppose we take 9.8 into S 1 meter. That is 1 meter. So V square is equal to how much? 9.8 into 2. This will turn out to be 8 to the 16. Carry 1. 9 to the 18 plus 1. 19. 19.6. What should be the unit? This is the V square value. Velocity square. Velocity is meter per second. So velocity square will be meter square per second square. Why I haven't calculated V? Because I am very clear. 
I know that that for kinetic energy we are going to apply the formula kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. Here we need v square. We don't need single v. Although we could calculate it, it could be under 19.6. It could be half the value in decimals, but we don't need to actually calculate. It. So let's substitute directly the value of m. What is the mass of the hammer? So the mass of hammer is one kg. That's very fine. What is the velocity? So velocity is that is uh, velocity square is 19.6. Let's solve this. So 19.6 divided by 2. This will turn out to be 9.8. This is kinetic energy. So this would be in joule. This is going to be the answer. Hope you understood. So students, as you can see, one two numericals are being written. We are going to solve this. So, if you apply 1 joule of energy to lift a book of 0.5 kg, how high will it rise? So, when we are rising an object, we are taking an object, we are just saving our potential energy in our body. So, the energy which is given to us is the potential energy and the potential energy given is 1 joule. Very fine. What is the mass? Mass is 0.5 kg. Now, how high will you rise? So, we have to calculate the height. But, which acceleration is present when we are rising an object, when we are carrying an object? Then acceleration is acceleration due to gravity. So, G is, it is having a certain value. And take it, let's take it 10 meter per second square just to make the calculation easier. Sometimes we have to take g 9.8 and sometimes we take it 10 as per our requirement of the demand. So let's solve this. So potential energy P E is equal to mgh. Substitute the values. So 1 is equal to mass 0.5 into g 10 into h. We don't know. So 1 is equal to 0.5 into 10. 5 h. So h will be how much? 1 upon 5. So let's solve this. This will turn out to be 0 0.2 meter going to be the answer. So this is the problem number 1 which was written and we have solved. Now problem number 2 students. A man throws a mass. A man throws a mass of 2 kg vertically upwards with a velocity of 20 meter per second. What is the potential energy of mass after 1 second? So, what is the value of the mass given to us? 2 kg. Upward with a velocity of, what is the initial velocity? U. 20 meter per second. Now, we have to calculate the potential energy after 1 second. So, time is given 1 second. Now, we should have the value of final velocity. So, for that, what is the acceleration present? Acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square, but because we have thrown it, the boy has thrown it in the upward direction and acceleration due to gravity is in the downward direction. So, we will take it minus 9.8 meter per second square. Now, let's solve this. So, V is equal to U plus AT. Apply this value. First equation of motion. So, final velocity is equal to 20 minus 9.8 into times 1. So 20 minus 9.8, this will turn out to be 10.2 meter per second. This is the final velocity of the object when it would be thrown and after 1 second. Now, what is the mass given to us? 2 kg. Fine. Potential energy we have to calculate and we know the formula for potential energy. P is equal to mgh. So mass is, that is 2 kg. What is acceleration due to gravity? 9.8. What is the height it could have? The height we have to actually calculate. And we haven't calculated the height yet. So we have to solve it. Now which equation we should apply? So we can apply the second equation. H is equal to ut plus half gt square. Even we could apply the third equation as well. Because we have calculated the final velocity as well. So, h is equal to ut plus half gt square. So, initial velocity is 20 into time 1 minus half into g. 
g value is 9.8 t square t square means 1 square so this would turn out to be 20 minus 4.9 so this will turn out to be 15.1 meter fine so we have the value of h as well now substitute the value of h 15.1 now students let's solve this so this would turn out to be 30.2 into 9.8 30.2 So students this would turn out to be 295.96 Joule This is going to be the answer Now students you might be thinking that why we have calculated V if it wasn't used So students this is up to your choice Either you want to apply the second equation of motion or third equation of motion. So you could calculate the value of h by using third equation of motion as well. So there you would require the value of v as well. That's why we have solved it like this. Hope you understood. Please note it. So students, the questions which we have solved today, kindly note these questions down in your notebook as well, in your fair notebook as well. So thank you. God bless you. Have a very nice day.